Well, hello. For this short video, which is our next video, I want to just leave one simple point that's really a key aspect of leadership uh, that leaders have to watch out for both in themselves and in their teams, particularly when you're leading a team in a rapidly changing environment. And I'll just offer a simple quote that comes from uh, a good friend and colleague of mine and uh, a, a very good guy. But the, the quote is simply this, a person without plans for the future will always return to their past. Probably all of us have seen people before that constantly go back to something that maybe they did 25 years ago or something like that. Uh, and I will tell you that that can be subtle, but if you have somebody on your team or if you find yourself having a tendency to do it, to constantly go back to something, that can be evidence of something that you don't want in your team. And let me give you a couple of reasons for it. If you hear somebody say that, first and foremost, it could simply be a real degree of narcissism where their entire focus is actually on themselves, not on the team. Uh, I can think of times where I've heard people uh, in the workplace say, well, I've been here for 20 years. You know what? Fine. But that doesn't specifically reflect anything on this. Uh, keep in mind that going back, there's a couple of things with that. One is it could be that they want to stay back where it was comfortable. They want to go back to a situation where it was very comfortable and they didn't have to kind of stress something that was different uh, this time around. Uh, could be that their whole focus is on bragging about how they did it well 20 years ago or something like that. And it could be that their focus is not really on the team or the current situation or success in the team now. And so it's just something to think about on that. Another possibility, okay, it could be they're just going back to a comfort zone because they're not comfortable in a stressful time right now with a situation that's different than they ever expected it. It could be that they're always wanting to go back to an academic picture of a situation that this particular situation that you're trying to break free of or, or win in is, is not the same. And so it could be that they're kind of focused on, on that aspect of it with constantly going back to a comfort zone rather than in the adventure and the challenge of the current situation. And keep in mind, the other part of it is, if you think about it, if you have somebody in your team that's constantly going back to where they were some time ago, or if you find yourself tempting, tempted to do that or, or kind of wanting to do that, uh, what it could be is that you're constantly looking back. And if you're constantly looking back, you're not feeding forward because the situations may have changed. They're not exactly the same. The challenge may be different. When you get an academic picture in your mind, there may be some things that you're assuming about the situation because you don't know or don't have clarity on some of the factors that are changed in the current situation. So you always have to be thinking about that. So really, uh, very quickly, I just want to kind of uh, leave that with you. Keep in mind, when you're looking back, hindsight is 2020. I know in aviation, uh, when you look at accidents, it's very simple to look back and say, well, they should have done this. And there are some people that I've seen in the journey as I've gone through my professional life where you can see people look back and they say, well, they should have done this. Or the situation should have done this. Well, guess what? It may not. Can you handle it when the situation does not meet just a nice, clean, pretty academic uh, picture? Can you work with your team in a way? With you, the leader, can you lead your team in a way where you can get radical results because your awareness is aware of maybe some of those insidious differences here and you're not just going back to what was but you're able to find real synergy and real success in this situation. So I just simply want to keep in mind, never forget that if you have some per a person or if you have a tendency to uh, um, uh, constantly be returning to the past, you probably don't have clarity on the future goals. 
Remember, a person without plans for their future will always return to the past. Don't let that be a part of your team. Look around your organization and do you hear some insights in that? Can you have some of those conversations with people just to kind of explore that? So I leave that with you for this time.